This video will cover proper data collection. Log in to your MLS system and locate your subject property. After locating your subject property, define your market area, preferably with the Polygon tool. Do not use a radius tool. Typically, a radius tool is not best practices because it will not include all of the competitive properties in your true market area and will also include properties outside of your immediate market area. Just quickly, you can see that this is incorporating records that are outside of our defined boundaries. Do not use the radius tool. Let's mark an X through that. Once you've defined your market area, Apply some filters to locate competitive properties like you would do for your 1004MC data. Important item for discussion. After applying your filters initially in your defined area, Review the number of closed sales within the prior year first. This will give you an indication of how many sales will be analyzed for adjustment support. In situations of limited sales data within the prior year, it may be advisable to include sales from a few years back, which will give you more data for your defined submarket. Remember this for times when your adjustments are not credible. It may help if you get more data when you have more similar data to analyze going back in time. You can always upload new data into any analysis if necessary. By first reviewing the number of comparable sales in your defined submarket within the prior year, you will gain an insight into potential difficulties with adjustment support, as it can be difficult to attain credible statistical support for variables in smaller sets of sales data. In this current example, these are fairly homogeneous tract homes and I have 62 sales in the prior year, which to me is satisfactory, as the variations between the properties is probably not that wide. However, in custom or rural markets, more data may render more robust credible estimates for variables. You're the professional. Use your judgment, and if you believe you may need to attain more data to render credible estimates, start by including a few years of sales data, as previously mentioned. After locating your data, review the records briefly to omit any outliers, if necessary. An outlier is defined as a property that differs significantly from the other properties. Do not filter by price alone. It is not best practices nor recommended. Just to remove sales and listings by prices alone is not going to look at the underlying data. Before removing data, ensure there are not justified reasons the records may deviate in price, such as renovated, distressed sales, etc. Once you have located competitive properties, export your data in the GandySoft Pairs export format and save. You will now have a data set ready for analysis in the Pairs platform.